Hi, it's Terry with Terry's Mailbox, and I'm so excited to have been invited to be a guest designer for Alta News January 2020 Stamp and Die release. So I ended up using this gorgeous Wild Flora Stamp and Die set. Um, I love the organic look of this. It's just, you know, it's unlike um, other flower sets that they have produced, and I just thought it was really, really wonderful. So the first thing I did was I cut out a masking piece um, using the die, the coordinating die, and I'm now attaching it onto um, a piece of watercolor paper. So here I am attaching it, and then I'm grabbing a long acrylic block, and I'm going to use three of their dye inks, Rubellite, Tide Blue, and Bamboo. I love the bright colors, um, and it's just really making a bright and bright and happy, happy card today. So again, I'm spraying it with water, and then I'm going to flip it over and let it rest on top of that masked area on the watercolor paper. So as I looked at that, I thought, oh, the green's pretty watery. The pink and the blue weren't, weren't so much so. So I decided to go ahead and apply another layer of that. So I'm spritzing with water and then turning it back over again. And then I'm going to heat dry it so I can go ahead and remove the mask. The pink section ended up being a little more of a challenge to get off there cleanly. So you'll see it uh, takes me a little bit of time to get it off. And I had to really work with the, um, you know, with the tools to keep pulling it off. It was just really kind of shredding, I guess, because it got wet. Um, but anyway, I'll get, I'll get it off. And then the next thing I did was I stamped that one floral image. And I'm sorry, I did not record this, but I used my Misty to line up that image in the blank area after I removed the mask. So again, this is what it looked like after I got it stamped. And then the next thing I'm doing is I'm stamping the sentiment. This uh, set has a really nice uh, sentiment that say flowers are like friends. They bring color to your world. So again, I thought with this, you know, wild and bright card that um, that was the perfect sentiment. So I decided pink would be the color for the sentiment strip. So I'm using the Rubellite ink and smooshing it on my, my craft sheet. I'm going to spray it down with some water. And then I'm just going to smoosh the uh, watercolor piece with the sentiment into that area. And so you can see I'm doing two, two sentiments. I actually did do two cards. I'm a big fan of doing multiples while I've, I've got my supplies out and while I've got the idea. So now I'm kind of playing with it, looking where the sentiment should be. And I'm going to get my guillotine cutter out here and trim the card a little bit. I need it to be an official A2 size. So I trimmed that down a little bit. And then I'm also using the trimmer to trim the sentiment strip down a little bit. Using my um, tape runner gun to go ahead and attach the sentiment onto the front and then trimmed it a little bit. So then I've got my two uh, Nina 110 A2 cards. I always use the Easy Flow Tacky Glue around the perimeter of the, the bases if they are watercolor. And again, just kind of using my finger to kind of smoosh it out here. And then I did put the, um, the tape runner in the center to hold it. So I'm just kind of attaching it here. And there is your finished card. I hope you like it. Again, this is Terry with Terry's Mailbox. And again, I'm so grateful to Alta New for inviting me to be a guest designer for this blog hop. I'd love to have you go out and follow and subscribe to my social media channels. I'm on um, Blogger. I'm on Facebook. I'm on Instagram. And I have a YouTube channel that I'm really trying to increase followers on, Terry's Mailbox.